Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you some useful low level vendors that will help you level faster on the upcoming fresh Wrath the Lich King classic servers. I will add a timeline so you can easily skip to the different weapon and armor vendors. Anyway, enjoy the video. The first vendor that I'm about to show you is located in Lokmodan. At this NPC you can buy two different weapons. Both of these weapons are main hand swords, so you can only equip one of these at a time. If you head a bit more north in Lokmadan, then you can find another NPC and this one is selling two different two-hand maces. Both of these are fairly decent for this level range. Usually I go with the heavy spiked mace because it does way more damage and has a slow attack speed which is amazing for warriors and paladins. If you play a hunter and you lack a low level range weapon, then in Elven Forest you can buy a bow at this NPC. If this bow has been bought already, then you could head to Westfall and at this NPC you can buy a level 14 bow. As you get closer to level 20, you can head to Wetlands. At this vendor you can buy two different two-hand weapons. The sword here at level 19 is fairly decent because of all the strength and the high damage and attack speed. The other weapon has more stamina and fast attack speed. So if you prefer fast weapons, you could go with this one at level 17. You can buy the same kind of weapons in Dust Wallow Marsh. You can go to this destination fairly easy because there's a boat from Wetlands to this destination. This vendor is also selling other different kind of weapons and even some kind of armor pieces. In the military ward in Iron Forge, you can buy three different bows. The first one starting at level 11, the next one 27 and the final one at level 42. I recommend you not to buy the one at level 42 because it's so expensive and there's a lot of other options that you can get from different quests. And you can also buy the same kind of weapons in the Nasus at this location. So if your reputation with this faction is a bit better, then you can also buy the bow a bit cheaper. The next winter that I show you right now is located in Duskwood in Darkshire. This axe is so amazing, a lot of strength and even a high amount of damage. And if you prefer to use a one hand weapon or if you play a rogue, then you could always buy this dagger instead. In Duskwallow Marsh you can also buy another two hand weapon. This axe has fast attack speed and a chance to proc damage. There's also an amazing dagger at this winter and this provides a lot of agility, so an amazing weapon for for example a hunter or a rogue. In Duskwallow Marsh you can also buy a bow at level 30, but this has fast attack speed, so if you prefer slow attack speed, I would not recommend you to get this one. Next up is the neutral ones, so the winters that you can visit as both factions. The first NPC is located in Barons, and at this NPC you can buy four different weapons. The reason why there is a red marked area on the minimap and two destinations is because the NPC is patrolling in between the two destinations, so you will not always be able to find this one in Ratchet. The next winter is located in the southern part of Silver Pine Forest. Down here you can buy five different weapons, most of them being a two-hand weapon, but you can also buy a bow. The next one is located in the Stone Talon Mountains, so for Horde it will be a lot easier for you to go here because you can just travel from Barrens to this destination. Here you can buy an amazing two-hand weapon, but you can also buy some Hilden offhand. Some of these are fairly decent for casters. In Hillspread Foothills, there's also an NPC that is wandering around. You can find this NPC in between the red marked areas. Here you can buy different kind of Hilden offhand and also some builds. As you get closer to level 30, and you head into Stranglethorn Whale, then you can go to Booty Bay and buy this bow. There's also a two hand staff you can buy, and even though this is a staff, it's fairly amazing for, for example, warriors. Next up is the Horde specific winters. The first one is located in Barrens in Crossroads, and here you can buy two different kind of main hand swords. But remember that you cannot buy one of each and equip both of them at the same time. The reason for this is because you can only equip one main hand at a time. In Crossroads you can also find another winter which is selling a level 14 bow. 
If you need new weapons, you could always head a bit more north in Barrens. At this location, you can find another NPC which is selling a lot of different kind of weapons. You can even buy armor equipment at this NPC as well. If you play a hunter, then you could also head to Thunder Bluff and buy different weapons. Here you can buy a bow at level 11, at 27 and even at 42. But like I mentioned in the alliance part, then I recommend you not to buy the one at level 42 because it's so expensive and there's other options to get from different quests. As Horde, you can also go to this location in Hillsbred Good Hills. At this vendor, you can buy a lot of different kind of one hand, but also two hand weapons. So if you like a decent low level weapon, I would definitely recommend you to check out this vendor because there's so many decent options. When you reach level 29, you can also go to Stranglethorn Whale and buy a two hand axe or a one hand dagger. It's fairly easy for you to go to this location because there's two zeppelins going to this destination. The one is starting outside Okrima and the other one is starting outside on the city. The first winter that I show you right now is located in Lokmodan. Here you can buy different cloth items and this is useful for for example warlock, mages and priest. You can also buy the same kind of items in Lakeshire in Red Ridge Mountains. If you head back to Lokmodan you can go a bit to the east. Up here you will find a winter which sell two different pairs of boots. As you get closer to level 20, you can also buy four different kinds of shields in Lakeshire. Some of these are fairly decent for tanking and there's also a shield if you plan to heal as a paladin. Right next to Red Ridge, you'll find the zone Duskwood. And in Duskwood, you will find the city Darkshire. In Darkshire, you will be able to buy different kinds of cloaks and even some male legs. If you go back to Red Ridge Mountains and you go all the way to the east, you will find this winter. Here you will be able to buy three different kind of braces. All of these are leather braces. In Duskwall of Marsh, you will not only be able to buy weapons, but also different kind of leather and mail items. And some of these items are fairly decent for this level range. So I definitely recommend you to check out this winter. Next up is the neutral winters. And the first one is located in Ratchet in the Barrens. This vendor is selling different kind of cloaks, even some male leggings and also some different kind of shields. It's a lot easier for Horde to go to this location. So if you play Alliance, I would recommend you to check out the Alliance section because a lot of these vendors is selling the same kind of items. The next one is located in Moonbrook in Westfall. And for Alliance, it's a lot easier for you to get to this location. The next NPC is located in Duskwood, and this goblin is selling different kind of cloth and Hilton offhands. So if you play a caster, I would definitely recommend you to check out this NPC. In Hillsbred Foothills, there's a hidden NPC behind one of the broken buildings. This NPC is selling different kind of leather braces or leather legs. The level range of these items is in between level 20 and all the way up to level 24. The next winter is located in Stone Talon Mountains, right next to the Barrens. This goblin is selling different kind of cloth, leather and even mail items. So it's definitely worth it to check this out because there's a lot of different categories and a lot of different items as well. One thing that you have to know of is that this winter is surrounded by a lot of enemies. So it will be a bit difficult to access this one. If you go back to Hillsbred Foothills, you can also find these two NPCs. The Goblin is selling some different kind of cloth belts and Hilton of Hands. These two NPCs will walk in between the three marks in the red area. When you reach level 36 or 39, you can head to Swamp of Sorrows. Here you can buy two different cloaks and both of these will provide you with a lot of stamina. When you get to level 37, you can also go to Booty Bay in Stranglethorn Whale and buy this mail build. And the last neutral winter that I'm about to show you is located in Moonglade and here you can buy a level 39 cloak with 10 stamina. Next up is the Horde Winters. And this first one is located at this location in Silver Pine Forest. Here you can buy three different kinds of cloth items. If these cloth items has already been bought, then you can also head to Barrens 
and at this winter you can buy the same kind of items. Right next to this goblin you can find another goblin which is selling two different kind of leather boots. The first one will give you stamina and the other one will provide you with agility. There's even a third option to get the cloth items and that is in crossroads in the barrens. And if you would like to get a cloak you can also buy some different cloaks at this winter. While you're in Barrens, I would also recommend you to go a bit more north. Up here you can find a hidden NPC, and this NPC is selling different weapons, but also cloaks and even some male legs. In Feralas, you can also buy a level 36 and 39 cloak. Both of these have stamina, and you can buy them in this camp from this tavern. When you reach level 41, you can also head to Okrama and buy these cloth legs. These level 41 cloth legs will give you a lot of intellect and spirit. In Swamp of Sorrows, in Stone Art, you can buy the Cinder cloth legs, but also the level 41 leggings that I showed you before in Okrama. Some of these winters will be useful when you're leveling, especially if you play in a hardcore guild where you're not allowed to use the auction house. If you would like to see more classic videos, so for example gold making guides or class guides, make sure to check out the channel. I will also continue to post even more classic content in the future. As always, thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.